<laughs> Hello again, and welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man 5. I am your host, Melee Wizard, and all we have left is to go after Proto Man, so let's go do that. And he has his own fortress. Why can't we have our own fortress? I mean, what do we have to do to get a fortress? Do all Only the evil guys get fortresses. That, that ain't fair. But oh well. Let's trash the place. And first off, let's look into what Gravity Hole does. Alright, and this weapon is used against uh, Gyro Man. And as such, it's one of those weapons where you would end up using all of its energy to beat the boss. Which seems kind of silly to me, but... Ah! No, don't come near me! You let those tigers get any get any head any headway, they can hurt you. See what I mean? Ah, no, another one. Aye, and they usually react right when you first shoot some. You have to time your shot right, or just be good at avoiding them, I guess. And we will need the rush coil to get up there. And holy cow, I'm down to less than half of life already. This is turning out well. Okay, and time to break out Rust Jet, I believe for the first time. And this guy, this Rust Jet, I don't like this version of Rust Jet. I like the Mega Man 3 Rust Jet, because you get a whole lot better maneuverability with it, with that one. And I'll go ahead and charge up Gravity Hold, because why the heck not. Ah. Come on, give me some... Give me some life here. And I said, give me some life, not take it away! More importantly, let's recharge the rust jet as a now the gravity holds back up to full. And come on, yes! Got it! Alright, so I feel a lot better now. But not for long, because there's another one of these stupid laser robots. Ooh, okay. No harm done there. Good. And one of everyone's favorite parts of the game, those appearing and disappearing blocks. Alright. Let's see if I can memorize what the thing pattern is for this thing. Ah, oh, dang it! And here I thought this was going to be a deathless run. Oh well. Eh. Uh, crap. Ooh, okay. Let's see. Um, uh, hmm. I'm going to be cheap. I know that's cheap, but heck, if they didn't want us to do it that way, they wouldn't have allowed us to. There we go. I have no idea what those things are for, since they can't really hit you. And here comes a, a series of bosses that are kind of repetitive. This first one, basically all it does is just walk around and basically it... I, attacking every so often and after ah and after a while he starts to pick up speed all 
No! No! Ah! Dang it, I don't want to die to these things. And the weapon you would use against him is the water wave. But because I'm being stubborn, I'm not going to do that. Yeah, and he, he gets faster and faster the more damage he takes. I wish that was the case with me, but oh well. Oh, come on. Ah, you know what? Screw it. Um. Uh, I really didn't want to use an energy tank there, but I also didn't want to die either. I'm sure you understand. And frankly, the next boss isn't any better. If anything, it might be worse. It kind of makes me wish I could could have grinded through like Stone Man or Napalm Man or something for more energy tanks, but it's too late for that now. All right. And more of these shield shooters. Great. We'll be seeing a bunch of them in here. Come on. I want to shoot you. Thank you. And more of the... Chain me tools. It's like we're in charge, man, all over again. Hey, we got a life back. That's good. Okay. And isn't this lovely? Spike ceilings and more of those. They look like frog, kind of look like frogs to me, which is kind of odd because there are no frogs in this game, and I don't want to get hit here because it can cause you to get. I don't want to fall! Uh, and crystal shooters. Lovely. Great. <laughs> wanted to slide there. Eh, this is not looking well. But, don't lose hope, because we have one of those pellet generators. And... I really need to regain my life here. Eh. Okay, that's much better. And we have a choice to make, and there we go. It's always nice to have more energy tanks. And ah, and nah, that's not worth, not worth, not worth getting right now. And more of these drop guys. Okay, moving on. Whew. And tigers again. Lovely. Ah. Ah. 
No! I want to live! I want to live! Hoping for a light, uh, energy or something, but uh, I can already tell I'm not gonna win this one. This guy basically does the exact same thing as the last boss, except that he doesn't shoot at you. Instead, he just has those energy beams or whatever they are surrounding him that sometimes blocks your shots. And like the last one, he also gains speed as he takes damage. And oh my god, I'm playing badly now. Or is it just that these bosses are harder than before? Probably both. Dang it. Uh huh. And for those who plan on using weapons, the one to use against this guy is um, the Crystal Eye. Ah, come on! No! Dang it! Time your shots better, Mega Man! I don't want to use an energy tank again. Thank you. Well, it's a good thing we had so many in lives. We might end up needing them. Uh. Uh, well, we'll wait for the next one until we'll proceed next time. So, until then, this is Melee Wizard, and have a nice day.